Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Will and today I am super excited. We are taking a look at a brand new floor plan fifth wheel by Alliance. This unit has two full bedrooms and I haven't even seen this floor plan myself. I'm saving it so that my reaction is just as real as yours. This is the Alliance Paradigm Model 395DS. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside. Then we're going to give you three things we like about it and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey guys, again, welcome back to another video. Again, I'm really, really excited today because this is an awesome new floor plan. This is something that I know Alliance has been working on for a long time and I haven't gotten to see it. It's gonna be just as real as you guys getting to see it. And truthfully, I think it's gonna be one of their hottest floor plans. But before we go in and check it out, I do wanna say hi to Jen. Hey guys! Hey Jen, how's it going? It is going good. We are in Elkhart, Indiana right now um, nice. at Dealer Open House. We're checking out all the new um, floor plans and stuff that's that's out and trying to hit as much of it as we can for you guys. Yes. So you might be wondering why it's just Will and I on the channel right. today. So Matt and Andre are actually filming motorhomes over at Nexus or somewhere else and we decided it would be best for us to divide and conquer because there is just so much new stuff here at Elkhart that we want to show you guys. So we are by doing by dividing and conquering we're hitting as much as we can and we get to see some amazing stuff like this new paradigm floor plan which i'm super excited for yes thank you jen and yep. i did totally forget to explain where matt was many of you are probably wondering so thank you for yeah for clarifying. he'll be back on soon but we're kind of filling in for the time yes being. jen let's get started model is paradigm 395 ds but the actual tip to tip length is going to be 42 feet 6 inches dry weight is 13,920 pounds and hitch weight is 2,904 pounds. This is a big, big, heavy fifth wheel. It's a big boy. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely gonna need at least a one ton, probably dually for this. Yep. Um, again, always check your numbers with your trucks and everything and reach out if you have any questions about that. Up front, you have a very nice molded painted fiberglass front cap. Um, I really like it. You'll see the new, new for 2023, is uh the new paint job and everything yeah it's the front and it's all down the sides and everything and don't let me forget jen before we finish they do have a full body paint unit here i believe as well okay um we so try we'll to try to check find that, that out and we'll so you, just do a little clip it, of that because you, that's you can get the full body option on this exactly, i assume okay yep. so we'll paradigm. show you guys what that looks like yeah. exactly cool coming out front we do have the kurt rotoflex pin box up here and then underneath is tons of storage it is uh, prepped for a generator, batteries over there, and then your uh, solar charger or solar controller right over there. Very nice. Coming along around the side, you have nice 30 pound propane tanks. You can see right here, Jen, it might be oh. hard, but there is six point hydraulic auto leveling nice. there. Nice, and that's where you is, can access some of yeah, that. Yeah, that's definitely what you would need for this is six point because it's so heavy yep. and big. Got some speakers up here. Yep speakers out there storage um right very there. nice pretty good size storage. yeah that's pretty good yep and then you do have not one but two power awnings the second one's hard to see we'll show you that later okay um, got a nice big one here though right outside yes. your main door yes definitely right around here you do have a nice big grab handle right there i love the bigger ones like that i do too yeah asdale is being used on all alliance lines right now um which you guys know we love as is a green base like composite material and the great thing about it is even if you get a small leak or something that you miss um it's not going to delaminate so you can just get that leak fixed and you don't have to deal with your sidewalls delaminating yep. nice lippert solid steps and they are hydraulically assisted very nice so i love that sorry that was loud <laughs> coming down nice big window and then we'll come over here jen and it looks like well it looks like it's prepped for a slide topper it is prepped okay for a slide topper, cool. yes and jen look at these tires they're the west lakes i love those st 235-85 r16 um and i think they're using the more ride cre 3000 yes they are very nice yeah cool oh here's that second awning that i was talking about Looks like you have a place to store your stinky slinky right there. Oh, I didn't see that. You're right. 
And that is accessible on both sides. What's this? What, what if we found out what that's for, right? Yep. So in case you ever have a tire blowout, which we've had a couple. Oh, so you can get it down. Yeah. So if not, you'd have to do it at like a weird angle. Mm -hmm. So this way it's, it, okay. the uh, tool slides right in to that's lower right it. All right, coming around on the back, you do have a nice big ladder to get up on the one piece PVC roof. I was actually gonna try to do it here because Alliance allows us to, but I don't think I can get up that step to be honest. Oh, I can. You want me to show it? Well, should I try first? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm a little bit more nimble. <laughs> yeah, you probably are, but like, I don't you want you to get hurt. <sighs> okay. Oh God, please be careful. Alpha male. <laughs> Up here on the roof, you will see that you have three Coleman Mach AC units, a solar panel right there, max air fan, and a Weingart digital antenna up here on the roof. Can I just say I hate the way you say antenna? Sorry. <laughs> All right, be careful coming down, Will. Okay. Okay, don't jump because that's a big step. I have to. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. <laughs> okay, whatever. What, whatever. <laughs> what whatever. What other RV salesman is going to take his fat ass up on the roof to show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Well, you didn't say, well, you got to make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> okay. All Ready? right. Yep. Finishing up back here. Um, this is a rear hitch is rated for towing. Again, we don't recommend it, but it does have the four point connection and the hitch and then up there it is prepped for a backup camera this is a tall boy it really you think? Is. it looks really tall um right. and it is yeah you said it's prepped for a backup camera so looking at it i thought full profiles were always kind of the same height this this is definitely higher than that don't you think yeah yeah i think so i don't know if it's and just like messing me up because the window is so so far up there it's just like it just looks so tall i think it's i think it is taller and i think they use the same ladder and that's why the step is it's so high. Is so high, yeah. Yeah, because the whole thing is higher off. The right. Ground. Okay, coming around. Uh, there, that is the spot to dump a black tank. I, I believe there's two on this. Yeah, and they're doing that second valve there, so you don't have any spillage. Right. So I'm wondering if that's standard with with but all yeah. Alliance lines now. Um, again, everything's prepped for slide toppers. Right there, you get a little bit of storage. Nice. Is this accessible? Oh, this is your trash can chute, Will. Oh, cool. So okay. you can you can empty your trash can from the outside. That makes sense. Yeah. And then over here is your 50 amp nice. uh, plug-in right there. Your second dump station. And then the other side of the storage right here. You get your whole wet bay in. This is the same one we have. I really like it. You got your poles right here. Outdoor shower, city water connect winterization, potable water fill, potable, potable, potable. <laughs> why did I say it? <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> uh, and then over here, uh, another propane tank. Very nice. And right here is going to be your um, electro, uh, no, um, Ele no, hydraulic, hydraulic leveling. auto yep. leveling. Yep. Well, guys, the outside of this paradigm looks great, but it truthfully is the inside that is even better. Let's go take a look. All right. <laughs> You skipping looks like such a struggle. Why? <laughs> it just looks like <laughs> after you. All right, guys. Starting it's not a up. It's just a lot of weight. Oh, me. is it? Yeah. Starting up front, we have your bedroom up here. That first bathroom. Coming down, you have your kitchen area. Sorry, I'm in the way. Living area, dining. Got a little loft up there. Yeah. And then you have what? Second that bedroom in the back. Crazy. Second bathroom in the back as well. So where do you want to start, Will? I don't even know where to start I with this. I kind of want to start up front. Okay, Switch let's do up. that so then. Do that? Yeah. But before we get started, we want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Lippert. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kerr A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. 
With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue yep. the video. Cool, so starting up front, we have a nice big king size bed here. Um, we have three windows, a nice headboard, power USB on both sides. I really, really like that. Jen, we've been messing up. What do you think of these valances? I think approved. There Bing. you go. <laughs> awesome. Um, inside this closet, it's a pretty good sized closet. It is prepped for, I believe, a side by side washer and dryer so i think the dryer goes on that side washer goes on this side very nice but really good size closet overall, yeah it don't is you think? nice tv comes with it you do have the nice mcd nighttime shades um little stool or little seating area here oh, you nice. know just put your shoes on yeah. or whatever hidden storage right there i always your... like how they do that i do too got some drawers right there tons of drawers right here very tons nice. of drawers yes and then let's see if there's storage underneath. Which you know there is. Very nice. Cool. Um, it does have three AC units, so this is one of them. And you want to check out the bathroom? Yep. Cool. Let's do that shower test. Yeah, let's check the shower out first. All right. Pretty good head height, honestly, in here. Definitely good width. Great depth. I mean, the showers were one of those things that Alliance early on was like, hey, we gotta hit this head on. There were too many small showers. Yeah. It just wasn't realistic. So they always pass with their showers. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. Sure is. <laughs> okay, you want me to show us some of this? Yep, got your medicine cabinet. Some more storage there. Very nice. Epoxy poured countertops. Now this is new, I believe, for 23. Maybe it was in 22s. What do you think? I th think it was in 22s. Okay. Yeah. Do you like that? Uh, uh, well, was it in the 22s in the bathrooms? I can't remember. I think it was. Okay. Um, don't quote me on that. More storage underneath the sink. And then, let's see, well. Thank you. Thank you. Poor porcelain. Son. Well, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! There you go. Very nice. And the, I like how they angled it. Like I know. Smart. All right. Okay, coming down. Yep. Actually, I think I should have just locked the camera with you. Oh, kitchen. But before we do, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now, now time for, for the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Jen, um, <laughs> do we know the MSRP? Well, right now I don't, Will, uh, but with a little bit of magic, okay. abracadabra. Whoa, there it is. We now have it. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Jen. You're welcome. You're so talented at... <laughs> at videoing or recording being the host and editing i mean you could just do it all jack of all trades jack of all trades yeah okay you want me to show this yes. kitchen all right so first of all here is where we have all of our um controls i always like how lines just does the buttons yes um and just it, to me i like that a little bit more than the touch screen i agree over here we got tons of storage up there okay very nice um nice solid service countertops and this is is this individual it is, tile? I believe. It is. Yeah. So it's hand laid subway tile, which I like. I really like that. Yeah. Got some drawers here. Okay. A little bit more there. And then up here above the microwave, we have some more storage. Okay. And then what is this? An insignia, regular microwave, like a residential. Yep. Very nice. Nice and big though. Yeah. Got a nice window here where you're cooking at. And then a four burner insignia cooktop with a residential oven turkey tested turkey approved <laughs> there you go gobble gobble and then more storage they got i feel like they really packed the storage in even though it's a yeah it's kitchen. not the biggest kitchen but honestly it's very, like, but deep it's storage, yeah you know? it's very and like that's practical the, that's the top of that trash can chute okay all right and then coming around here will yeah you wanted to show the um the storage underneath the sink there okay and then we do have a nice big one one um god come on one bowl sink there you go nice pull down faucet uh facing your your tv in your living area which i like okay and then wrapping it up over here we have the norcold refrigerator which looks super familiar yeah oh wow, oh, man. wow. man they oh, even man. have fun at the uh <laughs> oh man i'm 
I had to come home <laughs> early. Um, nice big Norcold uh, 12 volt fridge. This is the, exactly the same one that we have in our Avenue. And uh, we're huge fans of it. Having the 12 volt is really nice. And it's so big, like it feels like a residential. It does, fridge, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, cool, and then last thing here with the kitchen is this huge pantry. Okay. Again, it's like super deep, tons of storage it is. in back, so. Yeah. Very, very nice. Cool, thanks, That's Dan. The yeah, no problem. Cool. Over here, um, this is one of what um, Alliance just told me their favorite features of this unit, is with this floor plan, it's really, really hard to get two couches in. And look at what they did. They yeah. got two couches in. So they did it. That's one thing that they're really excited about. Uh, let's test them out really quick. So that's your theater seat there. Yeah, this is the theater seat, and it is the Kensington. The collection. Kensington. And we're on what video six or seven? Yeah. It's been a long day, Jen. I might just, just have to wrap it back. up here. What do you think? I mean, I literally could sleep there so easy. Uh, right across from the TV. Yeah. The there, I, I was like, I might just be stuck here. I, I will day. say that is a smaller theater seat. It, it is. looks like it'd be a little tight, two people sitting there, but you yeah. at least get two sofas. <clears throat> and yep. then um, and then this is a smaller trifold. Yep, let's go ahead and Comes show out. this okay. one. We got I it. got it, yep. It's been a while. We haven't been showing these. But well, people want to see it. An Elkhart, yes. America wants to see it, <laughs> as Matt would say. So it's not like a full size trifold, but it's like probably like a double bed size. Right. And you what you guys, when you guys see what comes next, you won't be worried about the sleeping space. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. And then also over here, real quick, I'll just show we got a nice dinette with four chairs. I'll let Will actually sit and test this, see how comfortable okay. it is. It does look a little tight, honestly. Yeah. But one good thing is they didn't put like really big balances behind. Yeah. Well, what I will say is a lot of times these tables have like this piece of wood for like structure, I guess it comes down and this doesn't. So it makes it a lot easier to get in. Yeah. And there's actually good room. You know, I actually don't have a problem with this. It's not honest. bad. It actually looks like there's a little bit more space on that side too. It might be, yeah. So. Um, did we talk about that nice big atrium window? No. I mean, this is really nice, especially if you have a good view. Yeah, I love Just, the big windows. Yeah, to sit here and eat and have a great view. Yep. Nothing's better than that. That's what camping's all about. Yep. Great. So. And then, oh, I didn't show this entertainment area. Oh, you want to yeah. show that real quick? Of course. Okay. Tons of storage up top here. Very nice. We have a nice big um, smart LED HD or UHD TV. Uh, oh, by Insignia. I don't know exactly what size it is, but it's really nice and big. Sound system right there, power, and a nice fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. Very nice. You want to go up first? Yes. Okay, here's here. where it gets fun, guys. You want me to go up? Sure. So this is a, this ladder stays put. Okay. I will say it's a little tough because this, Stuff yeah, big. but also this it's probably for kids. for kids. Yeah. So I'll show you guys up there. So it looks where like would sleep, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> looks like there's probably like a little cubby over there of storage, but yeah, like a double size bed on the teddy mansion. I almost fell. Did you? <laughs> no. Be careful. This is definitely made for children's feet. Okay. Be very careful, please. Um, there's a little bit of storage down here. Is there? Full. Oh. What is my vlog today, guys? <laughs> my gosh, you didn't see we just cut because I hurt myself coming down the ladder. Yeah. And then I just banged that on my foot. Okay, you okay now? Yeah, you're no gonna, more injuries. I'm gonna film right? you now. Okay. Cool. So this is like the second bedroom, but it's still like a huge like you could tell me that this is the main bedroom and I believe yep. you. Um now it does have a queen size bed which is fine for this second bed. Yeah. Um, power USB on both sides, still three windows, headboard and everything. I mean, plenty of storage here. Very nice. Like you could literally like full time and the kids in here, like if you had older kids. That's what I was gonna say. This is this is a great floor plan for some for a couple that has maybe um, older teenage yeah. kids with them, or agree. their in-laws maybe, yeah. you know, like a mother-in-law or something that travels with them. Yeah. Nice insignia TV, window right here, flip up storage Very here. Nice. Hidden storage, I should say. And then we got three drawers, or six drawers, six I should drawers. say. Get a couple on this side, and the last one there. And then even more drawers. Yes, even more drawers here. And then above here, above that is another little closet. Very nice. 
Cool. And then look at this. A whole nother full remember, bathroom. Remember how tall we were saying it is on the outside? Yep. You can really tell once you get in here how, you really look at how can. high the ceilings are above Wilson. This has to be taller than like I think so. some of the others. Okay, like unless it's just like an optical illusion or maybe something. Maybe it is. <laughs> Let's um, start with the shower test. It is going to be smaller. I wonder if like this is going to pass the tall test. <laughs> Look, I literally can't touch it. Right. Well, yes, I can. But <laughs> You're on your tippy toes. If I'm on my tippy toes and stretch. Um, but yeah, again, this is just so awesome. Again, if you have adult kids, in-laws, whatever, good shower. Definitely tall enough. Pretty good width and depth. I mean, it's not the biggest, but it definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. Sure is. Then down here we have a nice medicine cabinet. Okay. Um, got epoxy these a nice port. epoxy countertops. Pretty good amount of um, <clears throat> countertop space. And then underneath the sink area you have some more storage and a couple drawers. Couple drawers. All right. Would you like me to take the eyes, yes. Will? All right. Porcelain. Okay. So here I don't know. I don't. Here's what's hard. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if Matt would pass this. It's okay. on that edge. I think he would. I don't think you would fit here though. Okay, but you're okay, so you pass it if you're passing. Yeah, so I'm gonna say this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Okay, and then I'll do the double pass or the uh Matt and I are similar in, in height, so I think that he would pass this. I mean you have fine spread. I just worry about the length of your legs, okay. I don't think. We shall see. This is your No, oh, this is oh, wow. Yeah. That's surprising. Like, it's not, it's a little tight, but it's doable. It is a little tight, yeah. I would just want to make sure I'm not sitting. Okay, I don't normally like to do this, but just to make sure I'm getting the angle yeah. right. It's so funny because you know these are probably like unused, but it's I still know, just it's the here. idea. Yeah, see, it's definitely close, but I'm still going to pass it. Bing! That's the double it is. position. I'm surprised, actually. I, I thought it was going to be too tight as well, but I yeah. think it helps, you know, you yeah, can like. You have been spread. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Nice. Well, guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you all so much. But before we uh, leave, it is now time for us to give you three things we love about this uh, paradigm and three things we dislike about it. Jen, what should we do first? I say let's do dislikes first because this okay. is our last alliance yes. here and we should end on a positive note. There you go. It's going to be hard with dislikes. It is. I have one. Do you okay. have one? Um, you go first and okay. I'll think of mine. We'll go out here a little bit. Okay. Excuse me. Um... I will say, as much as I do like this kitchen, I do have to be honest with it, that the countertop space would be a little bit harder to use. Um, just like as far as prepping and all that goes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just because this is so narrow, um, and then it would be hard to like work in you here. You and that's your trash too. Yeah, and I feel like this would be, like a lot of this would be taken up by like coffee machine, all that. Yeah. Overall, for what they were working with, I do like it. But again, you guys know Alliance does it so well. We just yep. have to, you know, pick what we can. Yep, I agree, Will. Yep. All right, I think I have a second dislike. Okay. I'm going to go up here to the yeah. front bedroom. And this is small. Um, I don't I don't like how they did. I, I think I don't like how they did a double entryway. It yeah. feels weird when you come up here. I was telling Will when we first came in this unit, like, it felt weird having this, like, one random beam here. Yeah. And it's, like, it's kind of nice, but it seems almost, like, a little unnecessary to have the, I know. the two doors. Especially because you do have a second bathroom. So, I mean, if you do have guests, it's like they're using that bathroom. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if it's necessary to have the two doors. It's just, like, a little wonky to me. Yeah. Um, but that, honestly, it's kind of a minor thing. I agree. So. Yeah. Again, not a big deal, but, yeah, I, I agree yeah. with you. Do you have a third dislike? Um, it's always hard. Oh, I I was thinking about one, right? Okay, you guys did miss it. You almost should leave it in, but Jen did fall. We cut. Yeah. She hurt herself a little bit. And honestly, the only reason she fell is because she couldn't get her foot placement here. Yeah, these like ladder steps are super right. narrow. And honestly, it's like this doesn't do that much purpose. So like get rid of that do a little bit of a deeper step and yeah. i think that'd be a lot safer yeah i agree cool well we got the dislikes out of the way which was going to be hard with this yes um now jen it's time for the likes do you want to go first or do you want me to um i'll let you go first well okay i'm gonna save the one best for last i will talk about this alliance mentioned to this to me and i have seen other floor plans like this and as far as i can remember they are correct in that 
when you have two big full bedrooms, it's hard to get two couches. Yes. And I like that they did this because this isn't just for two people. Honestly, you're probably going to have four or five or right. more. Right. You have plenty of space to sit around. Yeah. So you have plenty of space to sit around. You have room for the dogs and everything. Not huge couches. Again, they're limited with the yep. space. But um, overall, you know, I think they did a lot better than the competition. Yes. Yeah. I agree, Well. Cool. You so that's the number first two? Just like, yes, I'm going to leave, of course, the grand finale okay. at the end. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. It's kind of a combo, but I like how they have two full bathrooms in here and both of them are fairly comfortable. Good you know, point, like yeah. A lot of times if you're getting two bathrooms, one of them is going to be pretty tight and everything. Uh -huh. And um, I feel like they, they split up the space perfectly to where like this, like, th is this a huge front bathroom? No, but you also have a full bathroom in the back. Right. So given that fact, and they're both like past the shower test, past the toilet test, I think they did a pretty good job on the bathroom. I agree. Way. Yep. Okay, no, actually, I'll, I'll let you do the finale. Okay. The grand finale? Yes. Okay. So, we have to wrap up our likes with this back bedroom. This is just such a cool floor plan. Um, I love that they're doing a paradigm like this. I just think this works. There's so many people I see that are traveling with, like, teenage kids yeah. or a parent or, you know, just someone that needs, like, a bigger space. And I, I love how, like, this feels like its own bedroom and you know it's got its own private bathroom um so i just think that you know this is a great layout i'm glad that they introduced a floor plan like this and um yeah that's that's my third like well cool sounds good thanks jen yeah so real quick before we end the video we just wanted to show you guys that um the full body paint option that you can get on the paradigm so this is a different floor plan but this is the exact um full body paint that you can get option on that floor plan that we're showing you or any of the paradigm floor plans very nice so will yeah. do you want to just kind of walk through and show, yeah. show them what it looks like what do you think about it jen i really like that gray gold look yeah and i think some of like their designs and patterns are a little unique so truthfully because we always keep it real i like the gray i like the pattern i'm not as crazy about the gold yeah um but that's just me but i will say like the i feel like the gold has been like a big signature color for paradigm you're right it has so i think yeah. they're trying to bring that over yeah um and i, I, I do like the gold alliance i also don't know if we mentioned too like they really actually redesigned the actual like paradigm right logo name. right because um, it used to look a little bit different and I remember when we went to the Alliance rally earlier this year uh -huh. that they were showcasing that so yeah we just wanted to show you guys if you did want to order a paradigm and um, you're interested in full body paint that this is what you're looking at um, but we will jump back over to the main video and uh, finish it up for you guys well guys that wraps up the video thank you all so much for watching and again like we said earlier if you're interested in this unit or any other unit that we've shown make sure to go to our website matchreviewreviews.com fill out one of the contact me forms and somebody from our team is going to reach out get you great price great service and the best overall rv buying experience in the country jen do you have anything you want to say to america i do okay yes thank you guys so much for watching um and bearing with will and i as we are um not used to being like the star of the show with matt not here and everything but i hope you appreciate that um this is allowing us to show you guys even more floor plans than we would be able to um because matt and andrea are getting some some videos done as well um so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to link down in the comments guys three things that you like and dislike about this paradigm floor plan um alliance is super customer driven so they're always reading our comments and um taking people's feedback and using them for future improvements and stuff so definitely let let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and um just thank you guys so much for watching thanks jen and thank you all again so much for watching. And Jen, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.